We'll do a boot review. It's gonna be a little bit different from what you normally see. Normally you see somebody unboxing a brand new pair of boots and I'm like, you know, what can you learn by that? Absolutely nothing. The boots I'm gonna review has actually got a few miles on them. Now these are lacrosse. They're the kind that's got this real thick piece up front to kind of protect the boot, I guess from briars and everything shredding up the soft part. Uh, they've held up well on their bottom, on the bottoms. Both the bottoms still intact real good. The problem, there's two problems with these boots that I found. They make a lot of racket when you're walking. This little strap thing is supposed to keep them tied up top to keep that flop, flop, flop from happening. But that don't really work so well. They don't stay clipped up good. And these boots really broke down at the top of the rubber right here. They leak like the Titanic. Uh, they're heavy, make a lot of noise, leak like the Titanic now after a few miles. They're pretty much, you know, I could cut them off right here and have the same thing, probably better. So, I'm not gonna get any more lacrosse. Now these are guide gear. I've had these, uh, haven't used them for as long as I have the lacrosse. So they hadn't got as many miles on them. They're just, a, you know, cheap, I guess, China made guide gear. and. I lost the sole on them this year. This came off, wasn't glued on very good. Went from buckshot mutters to slicks, racing slicks. So they didn't serve me very well. I've got this old pair of bogs. I don't know how long I've had these. And uh, they get shredded up pretty good at the top. We've got a lot of saw briars down here, but they still don't leak too bad, as bad as this looks. They still don't leak like you think they would. The bottoms are still in good shape. The way this is designed, you don't get the flop, 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 even without the buckle. You can uh, put your pants over the top to kind of protect uh, all this, you know, and make them last longer. I normally just stuff mine on the inside and, um, you know, and the boot take the brunt of the wire. These have been through a lot. These are boots. These are my go-to boots. When I put on a pair, this is the pair I use until I bought another pair. I was going to buy a pair just like them because I loved them so much. I went in the store and I saw a pair that looked just like them. They've got the little rib up front. They look exactly like them. They've got a little pull-on handle right here. So I got them and come to find out they're actually mucks and not bogs, even though they're made Exactly. There's a little difference here, there, and under these, but they're, the bottoms are pretty much the same bottom. So, <clears throat> anyway, they had some mucks down at the store, and I may go back and buy another pair because I, I needed a new pair because those pair right there, the you know, are pretty much garbage now. And uh, so this turkey season, I'm gonna be wearing the mucks and the bogs. You know, whichever pair, I mean, I go over water all the time, so they're gonna get wet from time to time. I got a little boot dryer so I can put them in there, but they're really wet, they don't get them dry overnight. So uh, I need two pair. And like I said, I may go back and buy another pair of bogs and run these, you know, uh, day after day after day, all turkey season, and see how they hold up. But they're just a, uh, just a good little old Alabama boot when you, you know, when you go and hunting every morning, there's dew on the grass. When you, you know, get in the swamps, you're wading water. Uh, they're easy to pull off and pull the water out if you do go, you know, waist deep or sometimes neck deep, whatever's necessary to get to the turkey. But uh, that's a quick review. Nothing else to add to it. Uh, just, uh, be safe out there. If you feel like you need to wear snake-proof boots, and you know, this is not the review for you. I don't wear them. I just, you know, my time's coming. My ticket to get punched one day, I'll feel fangs sticking my leg, but that, that I'll cross that when I, when I uh, come to it. I, I usually have a snake bite kit with me, so uh, I feel pretty good about it. One little suction kind where you pull all the poison out, you know, as ASAP, and uh, I think they work pretty good. So, I think I'll be all right, but uh, anyway, that's all I got. Bogs, Bogs was the best after being used.